Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about corner harris. In the previous video we already learned how to find edges with the help of Kenny edge detector and today we are gonna learn about corner detector. Corners are just like edges, they are also a feature of feature type of image processing, like just like edges. And today we are gonna learn this corner detection. And this function is very simple. We are giving as input just single channel image, 8 bit or float type of image and the destination image is gonna be in the type of 32 flood type single channel image is gonna be our output you can learn more about math types I already uh, shared that video older times you can check that video block size is just a neighborhood size which the detector this function is checking for corners and aperture parameter uh, just in the sobat operator video we already learned key size this is and you can uh, define this should be both of these should be in odd numbers you cannot give them uh, even numbers and also suggested for these two parameters you are giving small numbers like three or four or one you need to give each suggested one the key is in the formula this one and i call this accuracy parameter by increasing that you are gonna get uh, more corners and by decreasing that you are gonna get less corners which is more clear corners i can say so this is the uh, accuracy parameter i can call let's paste to the code part and here are the images which i'm gonna give as input samples and we are gonna see the results and uh, in here i'm calling the image and then i'm showing the input image and i'm cloning it to be able to show in output and i need to convert to be able to give my input image to the harris corner harris function because it needs single channel image so i'm converting it from bgr to gray and now i can call directly but before calling i need to also define my harris output to be able to give my corner harris function okay my input is image my output is gonna be harris out and uh, block size let's start with three kernel size let's start with three also double the key let's start with zero zero four maybe then we can change again with different parameters and uh, after that i already get my output but this is float type so i need to make it presentable you cannot directly show with im show so I need to make it presentable with in a for loop. Let's start in a for loop. Check each of pixels inside Harris out. Let me directly write. Okay. Almost done. Then okay. Now I can check each of pixels inside Harris out. And uh, for example, we need to check each of the pixels with if let's say Harris out and since it's a single channel at and float type also um, uh, point sorry check each of point and if it is smaller than I don't know the exact number we are gonna learn I will talk about this limitation let's start with this kind of number and uh, if this is sorry not smaller but bigger if it's bigger than that I can make it presentable in my output like this is a three channel image okay and almost done vector 3b let's say yellow color and my output i'm gonna see the result and let's start with a which is a chessboard and let's see result okay this is my output and it's not really good to see maybe because there are uh it's how to say it's giving some noise and not clearly see what to make maybe we can create a black image to see the result more clearly or like this image size and three channel eight bit okay let's see again okay now more clear to see uh you can see but there is still some noises why it's like that because i don't know this limitation maybe i can change it more bigger let's say eight little gun 
make it more bigger maybe uh, just like this maybe more better but there is still noises uh, make it eight okay now almost a doll gun and I'm only able to detect corners and this is how corner Harris works inside this full out uh, here inside this output there are many full out type of numbers there are other methods for example they are normalizing this but we did not yet learn about those functions so I'm gonna show directly if you print out this function with C out directly like this you are gonna see all of the output in full out type and it's there are many there are many numbers you are gonna see in the console and they are uh, the meaning is bigger ones which is more closer to the one between one and zero the output is gonna be which are more close to the one they are gonna more corners comparing to others for example in this one the limitation is zero zero eight is good option for us and uh, for example in here let's see again you see this kind but if I I said to you, if I increase this one you will see you are gonna see less uh, corners for example let's make egg 0 0.8 nothing for example you see and if you decrease it let's say like this you are gonna see many corners because by playing with this you are just playing with the accuracy I can say just this key number is the key parameter is important also but we can keep it in 0 0.004 also by uh, playing with this you cannot give more bigger than 29 the maximal is 29 I think not this one this one you can give uh, until uh, 500 even you can give but the other kernel size you cannot give huge numbers the 29 is the limitation I think not 21 maybe uh, 33 I don't know 21 should be yeah the kernel size must be odd and not larger than 31 yeah, so you can give it from 1 to 31 and nothing else but should be odd also okay keep it trio so let's see other example let's start with B and I can say the same parameters is working well also for this one and let's see the other image PNG and for different perspective of also chessboard is able to detect and the last one C I think D okay D.jpg and here is also able to detect but this is a bigger resolution image so not easy to see all of them um, out maybe we can make it inside the whole image is detect here as a corner which is correct is detect these parts these parts yeah it's correct also detecting well I can say so in this video we basically learned how corner hair is working and how we can use it in our cases and uh, for this video I'm done thank you for watching